The Milky Way, our galaxy, contains approximately 100 billion stars, each possibly orbited by planets similar to Earth that could, in theory, support life. Yet, we are all alone. Why is that? Shouldn't there be tons of other advanced civilizations? Or at the very least, shouldn't we have signs of life by some little green men? Picture this. The Milky Way alone hosts about 10 billion habitable planets. And the Milky Way is just one galaxy among the two trillion galaxies in the observable universe. I won't bore you with math, but it clearly shows us that we're almost certainly not alone. Among these Earth-like exoplanets, many surpass our planet in age by billions of years. All those years let time for life to not only appear, but to potentially evolve into advanced civilizations, capable of sophisticated thought or capable of creating an online video hosting site, for example. But most importantly, this hypothetical civilization may discover the construction of spacecraft. If such civilizations exist, they would have had ample time, millions if not billions of years, to explore and possibly colonize the galaxy. And with spaceships going at only 1% the speed of light. These hypothetical civilizations could have already colonized the Milky Way over 1,000 times. So if we are pretty sure there are aliens out there, and they probably are capable of traveling at 1% of the speed of light, where are they? One of the most significant barriers to the proliferation of life across the galaxy is the vast distances between stars. You see, the nearest star to Earth, Proxima Centauri, is about 4.2 light years away, a distance that, even at 1% the speed of light, would take 424 years to traverse. And I'm pretty sure you understand why it's a big issue. At such scales, the energy and time requirements for interstellar travel may stop advanced civilizations from colonizing the galaxy. Moreover, the dangers of space travel, such as cosmic radiation, the potential for collision with interstellar objects, and the challenges of creating sustainable life support systems add layers of complexity that any civilization must overcome. Now let's talk about us. If an advanced alien civilization were aware of humanity, what would they see? A species at odds with itself, engaged in constant conflict, and on a trajectory toward ecological self-destruction. They might observe a civilization that has invented nuclear power, but also created weapons capable of annihilating itself several times over. The signals we send into space, intentionally or not, paint a picture of a species struggling with its own intelligence. This perspective could dissuade extraterrestrial contact. An advanced civilization might conclude that humanity is not yet ready for the implications of interstellar communication or that engaging with us could be risky or counterproductive. And to be honest, they would probably be right. Another theory is that advanced civilizations may tend to self-destruct. This theory suggests that there is a critical point in a civilization's technological development where it gains the ability to destroy itself before achieving the stability or wisdom necessary to avoid doing so. The proliferation of nuclear weapons, environmental degradation, and the potential for devastating wars over resources are all manifestations of this. The silence we observe might be the silence of civilizations that could not handle their own advancement. The galaxy could be filled with the remains of societies that reached for the stars but fell victim to their own innovations. But there is one last theory that is not often talked about. Maybe in this universe composed of trillions of galaxies, each containing billions of stars, Earth is the only planet to sustain life. Maybe we are really all alone.